What's everyone saying? It's your boy Simon Explores back again. I'm here today outside Edinburgh Park Station on the western edge of Edinburgh. And in today's video, we're going to be trying out possibly the UK's first autonomous bus route. The AB1 from here out to Ferry Toll Park and Ride across the 4th and 5th. I've just got here. Yeah. The bus is in 15 minutes and I'm not really sure where I'm actually going. The, there's a driver training bus down the road there. I don't, I haven't had a look at, I don't know if there's anything on the other side. I don't know, we'll have a look, we've got 15 minutes. It's not too much of a rush, so yeah, let's see this bus. And hopefully it doesn't go falling off of the fourth. Okay, I got it, I got it. It's over the other side, we have to go across the railway tracks onto the other side of the station. Follow me. Alright, I think I found the stop. It's right behind me there. It's got a little sign that says stagecoach. So I'm guessing the bus comes from out that way. Boom. It turns around that layover around there. And then it comes back out here. It's it's very expensive. I checked the price of the bus tickets on the way here. It's not looking good for Stagecoach Route AB1 is a new trial bus route running 14 miles between Edinburgh Park Railway Station to the west of Edinburgh and Ferry Toll Park and Ride across the River Forth near Inverkeithing in Fife. The route is the UK's first full-size autonomous bus service and may as well be the world's first actually. A total of five Scottish-built Alexander Dennis and Viro 200 MMC buses have been developed for the route. The bus is designed to run autonomously on certain parts of the route at AV Level 4, meaning that the bus is driven by itself using its plethora of onboard sensors and cameras detecting its surroundings and there isn't a need for the driver to touch any controls when cruising. Each bus is fitted with a number of radar, lidar, optical cameras and ultrasound sensors to help the bus judge its surroundings and as mentioned by Cavforth, these enable the AI system to build a complex picture of the vehicle's environment and help it navigate a safe route, identify other vehicles, vulnerable road users, obstacles, red lights, gaps in traffic, etc etc the technology to make this project named cab 4 meaning connected autonomous vehicles a reality has been in development since 2019 with a number of different stakeholders involved including manufacturer alexander dennis developer fusion processing limited and edinburgh napier university i thought it'd be an interesting experience to shell out the dollar and head out across the fife for the second time in a week big up fife oh there's a bus there it's not that one it's there behind us there. But it seems like there's some teething problems. Oh, and had a nice little survey. Come on, we support academic research. So we're going to see what's the chat with this bus. Cause I'm not... I was in time for the 1300 service from Edinburgh Park and blissfully hopped on board with no expectations of what was going to happen. The bus had now been reset and hopefully would go into automatic mode on this journey. On board the AB1 there are two members of staff, one being the safety driver, who is the one in the cab making sure that the bus doesn't swerve off to the nearest Tesco for a meal deal or go full Optimus Prime on us. The other is the bus captain who would technically be the customer service agent on board. As we left I had a look at the seats. In front of us there was a section for wireless phone charging. I'm too poor for that, I've got an Android. A USB port for Elon Musk to download all your data and a stop button for when you'd realize the bus was gonna take you for a swim in the river. The stop button is probably in the wrong place, I'd say. There were quite a few times during the journeys I was on that when the bus was breaking, someone would accidentally just press the button. Luckily, there's only three stops, so it wasn't that deep. After leaving Park Station, the bus captain came around checking bus passes and tickets. As I basically count as an adult, I don't get free bus travel. I had to buy a ticket. I opted for the Student East Scotland Day Rider, which basically gets me across the whole of Fife, Perth and Kinross, Angus, and down into Glasgow and Edinburgh. And it cost me £8.30. Yeah, pay. Mental pay. This is the only option available if you want to do more than a couple of trips up and down on the road. 
What's that? So I'll drive in water mode. I swear down board. Jen is around 25, 20 minutes. Makes one stop at uh, Queen's Ferry. So we're gonna do more good runs. We'll see, we'll get off. But yeah, no time to enjoy the ride before this actual uh, Each time the bus goes into autonomous mode, there's a loud beep and that's all. Our friendly captain was keeping us up to date with everything that was happening in the journey and explaining us the whole process of the autonomous bus. In all honesty, if he hadn't told me, I would not have realised that the bus was driving itself. As long as the road was relatively empty and the drivers along the road were sane. The ride was actually relatively smooth, even though we were reaching up to speeds of 50 miles an hour. As we switched onto the M9, bypassing the edge of Edinburgh Airport and onto the M90, we saw how easy it would be for the safety driver to override the autonomous AI magic. As someone well described, it sometimes felt as if the software acted like it was a, a learner driver and was only looking at the vehicle directly ahead or behind the bus and not those further afield. A car cut across the bus quite quickly, causing the bus to brake sharply and it meant that the driver took control of the wheel for a couple of minutes before going back into auto mode. It wasn't anything out of the natural at all, but you know, it was one of those breaks where you see an uncle trip of his shopping if he was standing up on the bus. The bus came off autonomous mode once again as we came off the M90 onto the A904, past the intermediate stop at Queens Ferry and onto the 4th Road Bridge, which produced amazing views whichever way we looked at. And 25 minutes later, we arrived at Ferrytoll Park and Ride near Invercaithy. So that's the first run up just done on the AB1. I'm going to fill out the survey. I'm going to wait for the next one to come back. Keep going on it. That was an interesting journey. But we're not done yet. We're making the most out of this day bus pass because I am look. Huh? Bus. Ferry Toll Park and Ride is one of the three park and rides across Fife and Perthshire that provide parking hubs with easy connections to stagecoach buses into various Scottish cities, with the others being Perth Broxton and Dunfermline and Halby. I took a couple more trips on the route just to make the most out of this day ticket and took the opportunity to sit up closer to the driver and see the autonomous mode in action. You can see that the steering wheel was moving itself using slight movements and the driver's hands would hover above the steering wheel to take charge when required.
the extra rides and the subsequent trip into Edinburgh helped me sum up my experiences of today. In a nutshell, to the average traveller, there's nothing that exciting about the bus route. It's run by computers for part of the route and you don't really feel it, you know? However, this is just a trial route. It is just a test of some very novel technology and what Canforth has achieved in the last few years is amazing. And it doesn't stop there. There are plans to expand the Canforth route up through to Dunfermline to a total route of 20 kilometers using the current route and a set of new Alexander Dennis Enviro 100 autonomous buses. And you never know, we might end up seeing buses without captains or safety drivers in the future. So I'm on one final trip back up to Ferry Tom. If you'd like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment, um, everything like that. Left, right, up, down, center. Come and get on this bus, man. Come on. Catch you in the next one. Oh.